You saw that title right, 20 recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. These are things that I really love and that I think that you'll love too. 20 recommendations for this sale that starts tomorrow from Sephora is a lot, I know. And in an effort for this video to not be an hour long, I'm gonna be bringing this to you in speed reviews. The Sephora VIB sale comes around about twice a year. In the fall, it is 20% for Rouge members and then 15 for VIB and then 10% for Beauty Insiders. And all of that information, I will make sure I put below. What's gonna be really great about this video is there are a lot of affordable products in here because the Sephora brand itself, the brand that I love, I did a whole video about it. I'll make sure that I link it for you. But those products are really good products. And so this is full of a lot of those. And I will swatch some of them as I can. But like I said, I'm going to be going pretty quickly. So I want to move through that. I will show you the Sephora items towards the end of the video. So just an FYI, I can link my shirt and my earrings today, which are so cute. But I cannot link the necklace. The necklace is is something that I've had for probably 15, 20 years. All right, this is a trio set from Rare Beauty. This is the Soft Pinch Blush Trio. These are teeny tiny little blushes that come in this set, and I have so enjoyed using these, and I feel like these are gonna last a really long time. I wanted to try these for quite a while because I had heard that this blush was a really good blush, and I agree, it's a liquid blush, or a cream, soft cream blush that you can build up and you can really tap them out too. And they're just so pretty. So they have a great consistency. They kind of stain your cheeks a little bit. If you wanted to wear these on your lips, I feel like you could do that as a soft matte lipstick as well. They're really great. And there is like a light pink, a medium rose pink, and then the peach in there. So that's the first product. As you all know, I am a penny pincher, but when it comes to this, sale I like to splurge because I like to be able to try things that I can see if I can dupe for you guys one of them that I bought that I haven't been able to find a dupe for yet is the Jouer blush and bloom uplift chip cheek and lip duo and two colors on this are uplift me and amuse me so the uplift me is the lighter of the two and then the amuse me is the darker and the amuse me is the one that I have on today I love this formula now the gal that uh, owns Jouer and developed Jouer she had she's a little bit older of a gal like we are and that is so great because she develops products that are great for her skin and they're great for our skin too this is extremely creamy and I love that you get two colors you could almost do like a contouring effect where you put one and then uh, one that's lighter on top and then the other that's deeper down here I just think they're so pretty and they blend out like a dream and they stay around and I just I really like these duos and I probably well I might pick up another one she does have some contour and highlighter ones that I might try this time the third product is a product from Charlotte Tilbury and most of you know that I am not all about the hype of Charlotte Tilbury, but this product is a great product. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and this has little polymers in it that help to blur your skin. It is so pretty. I'm a little bit careful with it. I put it on either a, a dampen beauty blender or sponge or I put it on a brush and then I put it around my face. I don't just spray it on. I find that I get a little bit too much. This way I can put it strategically where I feel like I need it, where I might get a tiny bit of breakthrough on my chin or around my nose a little bit. So if you're somebody that is oily, you're going to absolutely adore this. Normal to dry, you're going to love it too because it does have that blur effect and it's so pretty on your skin and by the way they do have a duo right now if you have wondered about it and you're like I don't know if I really want to try it they have two minis that are a duo that I'm actually going to pick up because I want to have travel size of these as well and I think it's a great deal. Clinique is a brand that I love I have loved them for such a long time I love their cheek pops their blushes their blushes are so much fun and you guys are going to look at this and go of course it's a purple blush you're purple Melissa but this is is really pretty on your cheeks. It doesn't look like purple on your cheeks. It has this lighting effect. This is Pansy Pop from their Cheek Pops. It has this lighting effect that's so pretty and so soft. So if you're somebody that is very light 
to medium skin tone like I am, I think you'll really like this. Now they do have tons of other colors and I have several of their other colors in the Cheek Pop, but for me, this one, it just gives a brightness to my skin on my cheeks. Now, if you want to pair it with another one and use this, on, you know, kind of towards the top as a lighter shade for brightness, you can do that. It's just really pretty. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to pull out my next recommendation, which is this brush from Huda Beauty, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of stick this just barely on the high, po high points of my cheeks, and I can't see what I'm doing, so then I'm gonna have to pull out a little mirror to see what's going on here. This is a light touch blush. So when you get it home on any of those blushes, you're gonna see that they aren't like really heavy going on, and I think I really love that about them. So you can see that it just kind of gave a lighting effect. It doesn't look purple. It doesn't even look lavender. It just kind of gave a lighting effect, and I think these blushes are so special because they really do hug your cheeks, and the fact that they just are very a soft wash that is extremely buildable. So I love of those now about the brush it's from huda beauty it's her dual ended blush and highlighter brush well let me just take the other end and i'm going to show you the next product which is from bobby brown and this is her highlighting um, powder and this is in pink glow I love this. Now these, this one I do believe comes in a mini, so it's not quite so as expensive and you would never go through this in such a long time. So here I'm gonna just put this highlighter on with that little side of the brush from Huda and it is so pretty. And that highlighter can be super beaming or it can be really sheared out, but it's not got any glitter in it. It's just this soft shimmer, a really just sheen of glow. It's so, so pretty. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but it's just, it's gorgeous. I love this formula. And then while we're talking about highlighter, I want to talk to you about the Kilowatt highlighter from Fenty that I recently got, which is Girl Next Door and Cheek freak and i think these are so pretty as well and i will turn this brush over and i will just show you what this one is on this side which is girl next door and i'll just lightly tap that across my cheeks too both of these either one the bobby brown or the one from fenty beauty are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and again you're not getting that intense super glittery or even pinpoints of glitter or anything like that it's just sheen and it's so pretty and this one is a beautiful blush topper for peach if you like that too and i do love these i think they're so gorgeous all right the next one while we're talking about fenty let's just talk about her cream blushes which i absolutely adore and i am going to pick up that purple one this time in the cream there is um cool berry and i have petal poppin and I love both of these. Um, the petal poppin' is a little bit more bright. It's perfection as far as anything that you want to wear that needs a neutral blush with it or that needs a little bit brighter blush. It's so pretty. And this formula is so creamy that I absolutely adore it. And the Cool Berry one is a very mauve toned one. And this is gorgeous as well. I love that Cool Berry. I wear that so many times through the winter because it just goes with just all kinds of different looks that I do that are cool toned. It's just beautiful. And the formula sticks around and it's absolutely gorgeous on cheeks and I am going to pick another one of those up myself this time. Another product that I think is so amazing is this um, Contour Balm from Danessa Myricks. She has gorgeous packaging. It's almost Tom Ford-ish, kind of like that. And this cream product is so nice. I wear this all the time. I use it not only to contour, but I also use it as a bronzer. Um, and so it just really warms up my face. It's perfect for the winter. You can see that I've used it a ton and it's got a great divot in it there, but let me see what color it is. It is light one. So yes, it's the lightest one that she has, I believe. So I really like this. It warms up my face beautifully. I love the cream product for my mature skin. It's fantastic. And right next, you're going to think I'm weird, but this is from Benefit. This is their highbrow product. Now, they discontinued the two separate ones. So they had the one that was just the matte, which is what this one is. And then they had the one that was the pearl 
for the highlighting color and i'm hopefully you can see that i love this because it's pink it's not on the yellow side it's more on the pink side and i wear this every single time i do an eye look up there around my brow just to give a little bit of highlight and then i like the other one to put in the inner corner i use this in the inner corner on days when i'm just wearing all matte or when i don't want you know something too bright to show up but I love it to be able to bring a little bit of light in where we get so much darkness in here And now they've made the pencil that has the pearl on one side and then the matte on the other side on the other side Excuse me. I think that that is so fantastic because I think that both sides can be utilized and I love that this formula in here It's super creamy and as you can see i've loved it so much that i'm down to the end So i'm getting ready to order one of those myself that's one of my favorite staple products. Recently, my friend Kimberly from Pretty Over 50 showed her Huda Beauty lipsticks. This isn't the matte formula that Huda came out with in the beginning. This is her new formula that is super creamy, and I love these. It's actually what I have on today in which color. Let's make sure I get the color right here. I have it on in the color Buttercup. And this is a very nude with um, a little bit of peachy pink in it. It's just a beautiful nude color. I absolutely love it. And then the other color that I have, and I just put that in the wrong one, the other color that I have is Angel. And I think these are just gorgeous. They're very creamy. They're easy to wear. They're very forgiving on mature lips. And they do look really close to each other right there. But this is very much a pinky nude. And then this one is a peak pinky peach neutral nude. So both of them are gorgeous, but I think the formula, I love it so much more than I did her, her other matte formula because it is so much more creamy and my lips don't look like they're dried out, shriveled up grapes. I just think they're great. As we're talking about Huda, I will tell you what I have on for my lip contour today. It is her um, lip contour in Muse. This is the long wearing matte lip pencil. I love these. These are so great. I love this color. It's a very muted, um, mauve rose color, and it just goes so well with that lipstick and gave, gave me a bit of contour. I like it because it's very long wearing and it is matte, and so it's not going to bleed out, and it's also going to help your other lipsticks from not bleeding out. Really beautiful lip color. The other one, the other pencil, lip pencil that I have is from Pat McGrath Labs, and this one is her, her Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil and this one is in cosmic vibes and it's really close to this color as well i wear this color mostly this is a bit darker and i love to pair that with that pink more pink color that you did see from the huda beauty one it's so pretty with those two together i just think they're great this is a little bit softer formula than the huda but it still sticks around like crazy it's really good about sticking around and being on your lips without bleeding out before we step away from lip liners i have to tell Tell you that this lip liner from sephora their gel rouge lip liner that collection is amazing i have so many colors of them and one of them isn't even here which is my very favorite it's sinker suede and it's in my purse it is a very muted almost grayish pink some of these are newer to me like this one right here is called the nudist this is gorgeous if you want something that just blends into your lips and you won't have to worry about contour or anything because it's going to make your lips look just a little bit bigger even if you put it out here and you really cheat your lip line the one thing about these is they are a very creamy formula it's not that matte formula that those other two from pat mcgrath and huda were this is a very creamy gel like formula i love to wear these as lipsticks and put a little bit of shine right in the middle and my second favorite of all time is bellflower and it's because it is this gorgeous muted lilac pink mauve it's so pretty and i wore this i i think this is like the fourth or fifth one that i've been through but i adore this formula this one's rum raisin so pretty i love rum raisin as well and then this one is wild at heart this is a gorgeous gorgeous deeper color as well next one is rosewood i'm running out of places that's definitely more along the along the lines of a brown um, rose color and then the last one that I have over here to swatch for you is called hot sauce I love wearing hot sauce with pinks. It pairs so well with them So those are the colors. They just are 
all of these that I've chosen are just really beautiful cool tones that go with so many different things and I just I think they're great for me it's a beautiful formula and the price is right on that too and remember these are the ones that are 30% off I have two fragrances to share with you both are from Sol de Janeiro this is their body spritz this is the new one that they have this is uh, Sol de Janeiro and Anita this is passion fruit nectar and what else is say pink patchouli um, it's just a beautiful fragrance it's very bright and citrusy almost pineapple-y I really have been enjoying this one and this one has a little bit more lasting power than their original body fragrance or their spritz it's a really beautiful spray that I think that you will love and then this one is their Chorizo 62 this is the perfume that they came out with last year this one I love. This has such lasting power on it. I sprayed just a tiny bit because it does go such a long way. I love this one as well. It's very much like their Bum Bum Cream, but it has just a little bit more notes of vanilla, I almost feel. It's really close, just so you know, it's really close to that cream. I could not make one of these videos without telling you that my very favorite gloss in the whole wide world, besides, I do like Fenty, but I think I like this one better. This one is the Sephora Outrageous Plumping Gloss. I love this gloss. It's the gloss that I wear all the time. This one is Starstruck Pink, I believe. I will make sure that I show that to you also. But they have so, so many other colors, but I find that I love this pink for its sparkle. I did just pick up the other one that is more along the lines of a coral, a bright coral, and I like that too. But this is the one that I default back to so many times, and it's already half gone or more than half gone. I'll probably be ordering one of these during the sale, but this is a great cooling plumping lip gloss i absolutely love it and then i also very recently talked to you about just their glossed glosses from sephora they have some beautiful colors they are a sheer formula but this one is called regal it's almost like a beautiful kind of a purple fuchsia color it's sheer though so when you get it on your lips it's it doesn't look bright super bright like it does in the tube the other thing is this has no fragrance and it has no tingling effect or or you know menthol effect like so many of the plumping ones do this is just pure gloss it reminds me very much of the fenty gloss so if you've been wondering about that this is beautiful and i love this color regal and they have so many colors i also want to show you this set and i'm probably going to go over my 20 but i have to show you this this set is from sephora and this is for you to be able to get every last drop of product out of your empties i love using this i i pull off that um, stopper that is in lip glosses like say this one right here and you can go down in and you can scrape every last bit with either of these this one is longer for longer glosses that you may need to get all the way down in there with and you can get all of them out and it scoops them out like a rubber spatula that you have in your kitchen and then this one is great for you know products that you might have in a tube these two are great tools that I have loved having and and yeah, you can get these. These are part of the Sephora collection. So they're that 30% off as well. I also wanted to tell you today in my waterline, I'm wearing this liner from Sephora. These are the 12 hour colorful liners. I have heard very recently that the company that makes these makes the ones that were from Marc Jacobs. And so I know that these are just every bit as saturated. They have that gel like formula on them. I love wearing these. They're very easy to put on. They're very easy to glide across. They feel like a gel formula and I really do love them. Now, let me tell you the colors. Let's start with the blue. The blue is my boyfriend's jeans. It's such a cute name. And I do, like I said, I have that in my waterline. It doesn't last 12 hours in my waterline, just so you guys know that. It probably lasts about I would say maybe four hours in my waterline but then I do have a little bit of it left um, at the end of the day the next one is called waterfall so pretty that's that teal green and then the next one is called cappuccino and that one is a brown but it's actually got a little reflect of copper in it it's gorgeous just absolutely beautiful I also want to mention that I do have one of the Sephora liquid liners or pen liners across the top of my lid to match my color today these are amazing they last super long time they glide across 
your eye and they have great colors and the tip is super precise i just made a little dot right there the tip is super precise so i think that you'll love that too and then i'm going to very quickly talk about the sephora best skin ever i just did a video on my favorites not just but about a month ago i did a video on my favorite foundations and this absolutely made it in because it is gorgeous absolutely beautiful foundation for me i am wearing it today it is super perfecting it is full coverage but it's super long wearing and it just is a dream for my mature skin and then very last i'm going to just quickly tell you about the hourglass ambient light this is their one that has the hybrid of their regular powders and then a teeny tiny bit of highlighting this is the lighting infinity powder and i put this um, i don't put this all over my face what i do is i put it here in the middle and down in the center to give brightness and it works so well it's just exactly like all of their other powders it's very light it's very airy but this one itself gives that really beautiful highlighting effect without being a glow and i just think it's so pretty on anybody's skin so that's my picks super fast i know but i wanted to make sure that i got all of these out to you let me know in the comment section if there's anything that you love that i should be picking up you guys know that i love to do that and, and you know kind of feed off of your suggestions as much as you do mine and then the other thing is is there anything that you're thinking about purchasing there's lots that I'm thinking about purchasing especially those sets there's some great sets that I can't wait to dive into and see if I like them thank you so much for spending a bit of your day with me today and I appreciate you hanging with me this long I hope that everybody is doing well and I hope that you enjoy the Sephora sale have a fun week or weekend wherever you are my friends love you bye-bye <laughs>